Children, many of us are told to follow our dreams. While it's easy to say, following dreams are not always easy to do. This morning, Katie Lopez introduces us to Leah Porter, a woman who continues following her dreams and is trying to help others do the same thing. At a young age, Leah Porter given the chance to explore her artistic side. I started dancing when I was two years old and um, I just remember loving it. I remember always wanting to go to dance, being excited to be in the studio and learning choreography and being around my dance friends. It wasn't until middle school and a chance to dance at the Hamilton Center for the Arts where Leah's passion grew and she started taking the extracurricular activity seriously. Her parents behind her every step of the way, Leah dancing her way across the U.S. showcasing her talent. So I would always come back home upset that I was not able to get those same experiences outside of Lafayette in Lafayette. But it was really a driving force for me. It made me even more hungry. Leah taking that hunger and running, not to New York City, L.A. or Chicago, but right here in her hometown of Lafayette. Not just as a dancer, but a creator. Creating movement, creating access, creating programs, I think is, um, it's a great and unique position to be in. So that way when you see a need, um, you can create something for kids to, to explore who they are and the talents that they have hidden inside that they don't even know. Opening up Park Village, a place where kids of all ages can come and explore their artistic side. Put something in a community that was easily accessible to everyone and to have pe pe people be able to be um, introduced to different visual artists. So just just bringing that um, that realness, the culture, um, and just being really staying true to who I am as a um, as an artist and as a person of wanting to do what I can do for my community. One thing that she has been able to do, circling back to her dance background, co-creating the Creole Nutcracker. I, I come in here every day. And I still say thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for giving me this space. Thank you for allowing me to do this work. Um, I've been doing this work for over 18 years now, and I'm the feeling of, of gratitude never leaves. Mm -hmm. Despite being able to live out her dreams, Leah says it isn't always easy, having to sometimes have her creative side take a back seat to running a business. I want to be the artist, but I have to be the businesswoman. Sometimes I want to be the businesswoman, but I have to remember the why. And so that struggle um, from the existence of the conservatory has always been there and still there. I see things as, uh, as being important, right? And sometimes people may not see that as being important. So just trying to stay true to myself as an artist, as I said, but also giving opportunity for the community to, um, to, open to, to open their eyes to something new. That's not always easy. Whether she's on the dance floor, choreographing her next big hit, or behind the scenes, letting the kids take center stage, Leah says no matter what obstacles stand in your way, you can always make your dreams come true. In Lafayette, Katie Lopez, KTC TV3.